Okay, just a little ways from where we're staying. We're down. This is part of the Yuba. The south, the north Yuba. Sorry, not south. We're just looking around here. We're going to head down to the claim here shortly to uh, see what we can do. Probably will be a light day today for us <laughs> since we're just now trying to figure out the lay of the land. And we've met up with a few people. We'll, uh, I'll show you them a little later. Probably what we're out prospecting and then some of them, may not all of them because there seems to be quite a few of them here. So um, I'll let you know, I'll show you some more about that when it happens. Well, we made it down to part of the North Yuba that we're going to prospect in. And I just gotta find a spot now. I'm looking over across the there, those are some Chinese workings. It's a couple of tailing piles for where Chinese were working here. And uh, you can see them right, Let's see if I can get my finger there. There's one right there. And then of course that one, where's my finger at? Can't find my finger, there it is, right? Well, it's that one right there. So there is definitely evidence of people in working. There's all kinds of pieces of machinery and stuff I, I saw just coming down the path. So I'm going to go find me a spot and dig up a little ground and see if we can't find a little bit of that shiny. Okay, while I'm out scouting to find my location of where I want to dig, this is another spot that I'm looking at down the river where they are. And uh, I don't know why I'm having a hard time focusing here. Um, I think it's the trees that are right there. Uh, yeah, I don't know why I can't get it to focus. But that's where they are. You can see them every once in a while as it comes in. A lot of them are working in that area and then a little further downstream there. So I'm going to go back and look and I think I found a spot. So I'll try and get to digging. This guy here, he's metal detecting underwater. And so he's got his little waterproof metal detector and he's sniping the bedrock. And right now, everybody's taking a break. Um, there is small gold so far. Right now, I'm finding that I'm finding that home gold. I'm finding the Indiana gold. I'm hoping to get down a little deeper and uh, maybe do some. I may just go over here and do some metal detecting for in a little bit. There's some bedrock. I might just go over here and see if there's anything in there. Well, the night the wife struck it big. She got the first piece of sizable California gold. She's right over there. There she is. <laughs> so there you go. First day, first sizable piece. Day two, we are sluicing today. Yesterday we did some pans. Today we're gonna do some sluicing. This is just our first bucket, so no high hopes for anything just yet, but we'll see. You don't see anything in there yet, do you? Can't hear you. Okay, all right.
try that one. Yeah, that rock As you can see, we are working. Some of you guys might know that guy up in there. Oh, quit your crying in there. Yeah, just, just dig it there. Okay. Quit playing around. Dig it up. I'm going to wear the battery out. Can't even. Quit battery. playing around. Dig it out. I'm right, sir. You coming with me? Yep. <laughs> we can do that. I think, without killing ourselves. <laughs> oh, really? Trying out the new GPX 6000. We're trying out the new GPX 6000 Mine Lab. Uh, it's quite a lot more powerful than my SDC 2300. Uh, just popped the nugget a couple of minutes ago. Uh, we just moved the rock that I'm sitting on. About a good uh, 1500 pound rock. And it's pretty interesting. We just kind of got some bigger rocks underneath, ribbed it up, and just Jogged it right out of its hole where it was, and now I got a good seat rod. <laughs> you needed and another I, one. And I got a target in here. Yep. It sounds like it's a pretty good size one because I got it. It has that right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's the sound of gold. Or lead. <laughs> yeah, lead. Or lead. Yeah, lead sounds pretty close to saying yes. I'm not good enough to know exactly what the different <laughs> sounds are. Well, lead and gold are pretty close because yeah, they are really close in sound. Very close in metallurgy as well. Yes. So we're but where there's, where there's one, there's the other, right? Mm, maybe. And we got the pry bars, <laughs> we got the pick. We got the pruning shears. Pruning shears are for pruning. Uh, get rid of some of the bushes so they don't poke in the eye when you dig in. Yeah. We're good. <laughs> you have a lesson from Pat King. That target? All right. Well, if I can continue. move that target, you actually see me uh, pull a nugget out if I'm lucky. Yeah. All right. <laughs> if you got it, I'll see you in the card if you want to go back to the Oh, um, she's, she's running right now, so I think this is going to be our last bucket, and then we're going to call it a day. And we're using our uh, favorite magic fingers. It's one of the greatest tools for uh, dragging the stuff out with the bedrock. Yep. As the uh, different kinds kind of uh, follow the contours of the bedrock. Pull out that plastic material. And apparently, you can adjust it. Yes. Make it wider or narrower. Dig down in them crevices. Pull that dirt out. And then, when I think I'm done, I'm going to break the bedrock out and continue going. Behind that one rock. I moved it. You moved it? Okay. It sounds good. Yeah, it's close to the surface, right? 
the sound is much more defined, which means it's closer to the surface. Now I'll put the coil on it. It's checking the wall of the hole. Is it down or is it on the side? If I find another big nugget, I might have to have a, <laughs> one of those uh, chocolate uh... <laughs> So Pat, right there on your last readings, are you digging into the side or are you digging down below? What do you think? What is the highest? Uh, I'm kind of dipping into the apex of the bottom of the wall. Into the V. Okay. the bottom of the V. Example. Yeah, get that metal away from there. <laughs> it's a target. Too much woo woo. Woo woo. Oh, that's why I said earrings. I didn't bring any jewelry, but earrings are mostly yeah, that way.
Oh, I think it's still in the hole. I don't think he picked it up. Uh -huh. Yeah, it's still in the hole. Oh, you I might have it now. You might have it now. Yeah. Then what else? Definitely in your hand yeah, this time. Yeah, I think it's in your hand now. <laughs> Whatever it is, it's in your hand. Yeah, it's there. Mm -hmm. Still his, I think it's still that little pile there. Yeah? No. It's next. It's next to the head of the. Um, so it's in the push pile you just pushed. Forward. Yeah, it's right on the. It's right on the detector. It's at the very bottom of the dirt. That's so crazy. It wants to stick to the, to the head of the detector. I think that's what it is. You have multiple targets, that's where you keep getting readings. There's several pieces in there. Is it? Really? Yeah, did you hit it? Nice. Hey. Let's see if we can get in here. Let's get, grab that blue pan so you can throw it in there. If we can't yep. see it. Did you get that on film? Yep, we got it. Let's see if I can zoom in on it. Look at that. Did you clean yep. up? Yeah, there it is. Long skinny one. Yeah. But I think you got a few more that fell on the ground. There you go. Several, I know. Several little ones in there. Yeah. I'll bet you I got inside of a nice little crevice. Hit a pocket. And was dragging it out. That's well, there you go. Hitting a pocket. So it can be done. With a detector. <laughs> Well, I think this is day three or four. I don't know. I'm, I'm on vacation, so I don't keep track of days anymore. But we're hit it. We're hitting it again. Today we're just going to basically do some crevicing and uh, see what we can find uh, just by crevicing and panning today. We sluiced the last few days and didn't do bad I mean we found some we found a few small pieces small pieces like close to pickers for us they would be pickers for, for us in Indiana but for here they're small pickers um, but um, it has been so far it's just been a blast the weather has been great it's supposed to rain a little tomorrow so uh, we'll probably take that day off and just kind of go in and look at Downeyville and go into some shops there and kind of just hang out and do some things so um, the adventure has been good so far I will uh, show you as much of the adventure as I can and hopefully we come up with some good goals we ended up moving to another spot that I had scouted out the gold ended up being much better in that location How's it looking? It's not too bad. 